All right, so far what I see here, there seems to be a little bit of pull. I see already some, uh, some tape showing some of the glue because it's pulling down in the center and then pushing up on the edge. And that push up on the edge is causing a strain. So I'm gonna need more layers. I just had to see initially. I see that it's just giving out at certain spots. I'm gonna want to have more layers. It's, it's mostly strained on the front, a little strained on the rear too. And this isn't, I haven't even driven anywhere yet. And it's showing a little signs of strain already. All right, somebody dropped this in the parking lot. Looks perfectly fine to me. And I really need to downgrade anyway. But I have, I haven't. I actually wasn't able to find this, this toenail clippers. These are real toenail clippers, big ones. <clears throat> and they were like hidden behind some jars up, uh, up on top. So I just relocated it to the driver's side. And it's all rusty because of lack of use and care. So I think I'm going to toss these toenail clippers. They're heavy. Downgrade to this. Toss, toss this or put this where I found these. And go with that. So I don't have any expectation that my car is going to start. <sighs> Plan on going in maybe an hour and a half or two. So, I should probably practice having to pull the battery line until, or at, in the dark. I'll, I'll have to start doing that in the, this in the dark too, pulling the battery. Ultimately though, I think I'd like to buy a remote control battery kill and just turn it off every time it's parked. Switch it on only when I'm about to drive. And then I won't even need to pull the fuse anymore. I'll just push the button to kill everything. Because this thing really doesn't need to be on for any reason while it's stationary. I feel pretty good about reducing weight. But, I mean, how much longer can the car last? All this work I'm doing to try to reduce weight and just maximize what I find most important to have and it's dying I mean it's not starting now with an electrical issue until I unplug the battery and plug it back in that's uh, a challenge and maybe I'm gonna go to the auto part in auto parts store and look into that kill switch and ask them uh, kind of what they think about the, the car dying. They're not experts there though, but they might have interesting opinions. Yeah, it's pretty sad when the mom has to, when mom writes a message to her, uh, her, their, the son. Seems like half the time I'm in parks, I gotta deal with the lawn mowing. such a such a huge part of park maintenance so they don't even get off to push it themselves they use the the motor to push the tables out of the way i wonder how upset cops get when you take their their sitting spots this guy's been here for like 20 minutes. Imagine if I parked over there and he come across me. They'd probably look at me really closely wondering why I'm in their parking spot. Behind, uh, I don't know, some business next to this park. It's pretty rare for me to see a black person drive slow and not have a smell of marijuana come from the vehicle. Thank you. 
Racine, Wisconsin, Racine, Wisconsin. All right, I'm downtown and I got this Racine public Wi-Fi. That'll help me look for another place because I cannot park down here. It's they're charging 350 an hour to park in the parking lots, and you got four-hour limits. No, thank you. All right, I spent like a uh, half an hour in Racine just trying to research parks to come to. And this one's looking pretty good. North between between here and and Milwaukee, I got a Walmart. That I'll try to sleep at overnight. And further north of here, I drove 11 miles out of Racine to get here. I just checked the uh, electricity and it's good. So well over here. So this one's maybe good too. Checked it on my little unit. So all you gotta do is bring a, a picnic table over to this corner and it's as good as a library about to, to process videos for fun. Alright, South Milwaukee. I'm in a, a weird position here. I don't like Target. I'm not always excited about trying to sleep overnight at Target. And I look uh, on the map, Google Maps, uh, through the Target Wi-Fi. And I've been told that Sherwin-Williams allows overnight parking. And there's a Sherwin-Williams next to this Target. You just go down this little road from Target. It's all on private property. They're linked together. Coles, I've seen semi-trucks park at Coles. So I'm thinking I'll move my car from Target because I just... Those managers at night, they like to, they get creepy. They want to check out anybody who's left parking in their parking lot. But I don't think that'll happen over here. So I'll move over here. If I want Wi-Fi, I could just walk back to Target. And then tomorrow there's a library just north. <laughs> Not far away. I'd like to check out. Yeah, Sherwin Williams is closed. There's an Office Max, both closed, don't open until 7 or so, and they have these parking spots that are wide open, no trucks. Kohl's has been good, like I said, I think they allow trucks. So I, I could park on the far end down here, and it should be fine, or just maybe even just here. So last night a guy in that, one of those street sweeping parking lot sweeping types of types of uh, vehicles he pulled up here and just parked for like 15 minutes then he took off he didn't do any sweeping of the the parking lot i think it's a bit of a scam he didn't do any sweeping, just parked on the, the side and then took off. So that looks a, a little worse to me than the guy who drove up and down the lanes without even turning on his vacuum. He just drove up and down the lanes, came in at 7 a.m. and drove uh, without turning on the vacuum. I think they might evaluate the amount of uh, stuff that they pick up and and just take the chance that they don't need to sweep because they, they can just look at the parking lot and know how much they would pick up anyway and then decide from there whether they need to uh, do the street sweep or not. But there's, yeah, there's a contract. Uh, and it's it's uh it's quite a business they got oak creek wisconsin oak creek wisconsin all right where am i at it's too built up like somebody's pulling in right next to me oak creek two hour parking on the side of the roads they don't have any regulation in the parking lot but 
I mean, if there's two hours on the side of the road, there's something going on. I'm look. I'm walking around a civic center, but it also says on Google Maps that the library's here. I'm just trying to learn this area a little bit. It's so built up, though. Yeah, this is a really tough area. Two-hour parking all around the library's right here. I'm on the other side of this building, the City Hall, Civic Center, library, surrounded by apartments. This wheat grass looks like it got sprayed by pesticide. All right, so I decided to get some wheat grass. And uh, it's at Myers for $3, I think. A lot of people have like machines to squeeze the juice out of them but I just simply pull that should be okay and there's a lot of little stubs in here so I think I probably want to wet the roots and let them stubs grow not all I don't think it's fully fully grown so apparently if my socks look like they're ankle socks, then I'm un, an uncool person. Oh well. <clears throat> I guess I'll just have to be uncool then. City Hall and Library. <clears throat> Are there any meetings scheduled in the technology training room today? Nope. Okay. You're welcome to use it as so long as you keep the doors open and the lights on. I always have to check a variety of grocery stores to see if they have my oat brand because it's a pretty rare item that they sell. I forget if Woodman's has it. Myers doesn't. Walmart never does. See, instead of painting and lawn mowing, this guy does painting and decorating. <clears throat> Painting and lawn mowing seems like such a weird combination. 
got to look all over the place. Yeah, I don't see any uh, oat bran. I don't see any raw uh, sunflower seeds. They, they're, they're lacking in that variety. I couldn't even buy anything anyway. I, I tried to buy dates and it wouldn't accept my card, so I just said to leave them behind. But it's like some parts of the country are saturated with oat bran and raw sunflower seeds, while others, you can't find them anywhere. All right, I'm in the busy, busy parking lot, and I'm cooking, trying to boil some water, so I'm gonna cook some uh, grains with eggs. A little hungry, gotta keep the flame on. I should be keeping it on fire. <laughs> So the person next to me left as I was boiling the water. She didn't give me much problem though. Almost done now. It's a little stressful in these busy places. People aren't darting around me as much though. All right, just walking around this Walmart. Just want to say that it's very ethnically diverse and scary. It's like the security is very tight. And look at this, there's a bus station. <clears throat> so that brings in, that has a tent. Buses have a tendency to uh, hurt, to, to bring in more crime somehow it just happens happens a lot i thought it was in oak creek but uh, the walmart has got a painting that says something about franklin i wonder if this thing goes off if i get too close they also have something that flashes over here nope it's quiet <laughs> is it working <laughs> a lot of times they want to give a, a warning but this this walmart has got some high security person driving on the parking lot they got the the cameras in the parking lot too with the solar panels they got the doors at the entrance the people greeters are called loss like loss prevention so the people greeters got wear a different kind of smock saying that they're like pr protection and not and they're not wearing the regular smocks they got these these camera these lot cops on the back side of the walmart as well they got a lot they got a lot of security here and it's very ethnic looking of different varieties languages i can't understand people that look funny so this area has some problems and I guess I should be looking for that cop from the South Mississippi to ask or to, to look at me all surprised, wondering why I, my car hasn't been jacked, bicycle stolen, and me shot. Because uh, just looking at how Walmart's conducting itself here is, is alarming to me. These cars are acting really weird ducking down the kid just the kid just dropped his wallet right next to me and he just kind of looked at me he just dropped there's a kid on that freaking acting weird over here and then he's got money in here he he didn't even notice that he dropped his wallet maybe he stole it maybe it's somebody else's all right, so I did look at his uh, wallet, or he did uh, return, and and uh, I gave it to him. But I was looking him up on the internet. I see that he's got an Instagram. I was about to message uh, his Instagram account because I look like his face. But uh, he came back with his buddy and rolled rolled back on that the scooter on their scooters, and and then uh, yeah, I just gave him his wallet. When I see raw sunflowers, 
I have to grab a lot more every time I do see them because they are so rare. I'd rather choose raw sunflowers over flax seeds any day. I see flax seeds everywhere, every store, especially Walmart. I'd rather see sunflower seeds in place of that. So as this semi truck is making his turnaround, he's he's got a narrow area. That wheel just didn't wasn't turning. And I see he got out. I don't know why. That the back front wheel was just staying stiff and bouncing. He looks he looks like he's in a little trouble. He took too tight of a turn and he's he's about to hit the building on his turn. But he turned it so tight that back wheel was not even able to turn. <clears throat> he's he spent about five minutes uh, staring at the dashboard. <laughs> Is he new? <clears throat> oh, he gave up again. Yeah, he's he's pretty confused. Oh, he's got to move the sign. <laughs> that that's gonna solve it. <laughs> I don't know. I I I think he may might benefit by just backing up and starting over. He's got to he's got to figure this out so he don't hit the building. All right, so he's decided to to move the sign. That's a heavy. <laughs> that's a heavy sign. <laughs> he's gonna get around that sign. All right. All right, here we go. We're moving out. It's just a matter of having to move that sign out of the way. I think he's yelling something. Who's yelling? Somebody in that direction. I only see one person. Who's yelling at who? All right, we're moving forward. No problems, just had to move the sign. It only took a 20 minutes to... Oh, he's hitting the sign. He should have moved the sign more. I see the sign moving. All he got to do is move the sign a little bit more. I mean, he clearly can see that. He's got to get out and move that sign further. Oh, there's two people. Oh my God. <clears throat> they were yelling at each other. Okay. I thought that it was uh, only one. <clears throat> they might be training then if they're working together. New new uh, drivers. Just uh, just move, roll it. There you go. That makes, you don't have to pick it up. It's a heavy sign. Just roll it out of the way. There you go. Stupid sign had to get in the way of that truck. <clears throat> so one's a sleeper, one's a driver. And this is Werner. All right, so now we're backing up. I think one of one of them is standing outside. They don't want to run over that fire hydrant. That that fire hydrant won't move out of the way. Yeah, there we go. You can get around that fire hydrant. I thought one of them was up. Maybe he's... Alright, he got back in. There we are. We're all clear now. 
Actually, the other guy was riding right... He was riding in the back the whole time. The, the sleeper was woken up to drive. And then the guy who got in the predicament... He was riding back there for some reason. What? Is that a real solution? Wow. It's a, it's a little... It's a little scary what they're doing. I don't know why it's so hard to, to park at the Hobby Lobby. I mean, this is a weird Hobby Lobby with the security storage life storage right behind it that's kind of weird kind of weird but ultimately yeah the truck wants to to back up to that that bay door so they're gonna have to back up to get in there Franklin, Wisconsin. Franklin, Wisconsin. All right, southwest part of Milwaukee. There's a small trailhead I've parked at, which is next to this golf driving range. It's a very, it looks like a fluent area over there. But, I, I mean, they're not putting signs up advertising that this is public parking. Google Maps is the only way I've seen this. Uh, I think an RV spent the night over here so I think it's pretty peaceful. They just don't advertise it. It just looks like an affluent area. Yeah. Oh, they got <laughs> there. They are hitting the golf balls beyond the driving range because there's two of them. So uh, uh, that's a concern. Lux Golf Bays, and then now there doesn't have anything. So. That's a little bit of a concern. I guess people don't want to park here because it's it's a risk. Also, let me add that... Oh, the sun is making the bottles pop. Okay, there's a good source of wild lettuce right here. I can uh, make a tea out of. That's, that's some good, healthy-looking wild lettuce. So I, I think I saw the couple walk back to this RV. They're at the end of the driving range. And they probably asked. There's a, yeah, I don't know. I'm parked down there. But uh, yeah, the driving range. This is the end of it. They just have a huge net. Big, I saw this on the map, big circles. Like those are targets to aim for. And I guess I'm still in Franklin because it says Franklin Fields over here. We got more parking over here. I'm just walking down to have a look before I go on the trail. They got three levels. So people are teeing off three stories up. I didn't think of that. I only thought of it as being ground level when you do this. But they can actually do it three stories up like that'd be kind of a uh, a different a different feel you could see the targets easier from the the top floors I wonder if people prefer the top floors so the Milwaukee milkmen I always think of milk milk ladies not milkmen that's they're calling themselves you got different prices for scout seats, dugout seats, hop yard, all you can eat, skybox, pastures. <laughs> the best deal is the pastures. We are cashless. The milkmen. They have like a milkman hat. So they're saying they got all this seating, but I, I can't get very close to see uh, that seating. It's a very professional area out here. I can hear a fan running for the sign and it's not even on. 
So this is the pastures. Because they're called the milk milkmen, they got a pasture seating area. That's the cheapest one for the cows. Maybe they bring out a few cows to milk as well. Water right there. But uh, yeah, you could kind of see some of the seating. <clears throat> and I mean, it's it's uh, looks in good shape. It looks like it gets very busy here. They got a lot of parking. So right now it's quiet, but that's what sports sports grounds are like. Also, I'm now seeing this hill. This is the uh, sledding hill, I believe. So I might be able to hike up there, but it's it's more for sledding. I think that throws out snow. Maybe while you're sledding, it makes it look like it's snowing. 